Hi everyone! In this video, we will find the quotient of rational expressions 14x plus 126 divided by 8x plus 40 divided by x squared plus 18x plus 81 all divided by x squared plus 9x plus 20. The first thing we need to do is factor each of these expressions. And in the first one, we have a binomial with nothing squared. So we're going to look for the greatest common factor. And I'm hoping that 14 will come out of both the first and the second. So I'll try 126 divided by 14, and I get 9. So we have x plus 9 for this first one. And let's go ahead and move to the denominator, because I can see that there's also a greatest common factor here, which is 8. And we're left with x plus 5. Now let's go ahead and factor both of these trinomials. They are both in the form of a equals 1, so we just need to factor c. Let's start with the first one and factor 81. 81 is 1 times 81, and 3 times 27, and 9 times 9. And we have both positive and positive, so all of our factors are positive, and we're looking for a combination that makes positive 18 which would be plus 9 and plus 9. And so let's go ahead and rewrite that. So we have x squared plus 9x plus 9x plus 81. And factor by grouping, which gives us the first two have a greatest common factor of x. So we have x plus 9. And the next two have a factor of 9, greatest common factor, which leaves us x plus 9. And between these two terms, we have a common factor of x plus 9. So we'll factor out x plus 9, and we are left with x plus 9. So the first one factors into x plus 9 and x plus 9. Now let's go ahead and factor the second one. We're going to look at just c because it falls in the form of a equals 1. So we will factor the number 20, 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. And our signs are both positive, so all of our factors will be positive. And we're looking for a combination that will give us positive 9. And it looks like po uh, positive 4 and positive 5 will give us plus 9. So let's go ahead and replace that. So we get x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20. And then we will factor by grouping. Our first two have a common greatest common factor of x, so we'll have x plus 4. And the next two have a greatest common factor of 5, so we get x plus 4. And between these two terms, we have a common factor of x plus 4. So we divide x plus 4 out, and we're left with x plus 5. So we can replace our second uh, trinomial with x plus 4 times x plus 5. Now we can go ahead and do the quotient. When we divide fractions, we actually don't divide. We multiply by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal means that we take the numerator and the denominator and switch them around. So this whole uh, quotient is actually 14 times x plus 9 over 8 times x plus 5. And instead of divide, we are now multiplying by the reciprocal. So the denominator becomes the numerator. So we have x plus 4x plus 5 over the numerator becomes the de denominator, x plus 9, x plus 9. And now we can go ahead and simplify anything that is in the numerator and the denominator. And I see I have x plus 9 divided by x plus 9 and x plus 5 divided by x plus 5, which I'll cancel. We can even simplify 14 and 8, which are both divisible by 2, which gives us 7 and 4. And I don't see anything else that simplifies. So our whole total expression becomes 7 times x plus 4 over 4 times x plus 9. And that's our simplified quotient of these rational expressions. And we're all done.